Welcome back to my channel Aero Auto Defense. Rocket. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and support my channel for more amazing defense updates and missile technology information. Check mark. The 50P6 telephone is a crucial component of Russia's S-350 Vityaz medium-range air defense system, designed to provide advanced protection against a wide range of aerial threats, including aircraft, drones, cruise missiles, and short-range ballistic missiles. This highly mobile transporter erector launcher is mounted on a BAS 6909 or BAZ 69092 all-terrain chassis, which gives it excellent mobility across different terrains, allowing it to be quickly repositioned during combat operations. The vehicle is capable of carrying up to 12 missiles in two rows of six tubes, making it significantly more powerful in terms of firepower compared to many other systems in its class. It can deploy two types of missiles, the 9M96E E2, which has an effective range of up to 120 km, and the 9M100, a short-range missile designed for close in defense with a range of about 10 to 15 km. The launcher features an advanced hydraulic erection system that allows it to raise missiles vertically for launch and retract them when relocating. Four powerful hydraulic outriggers are deployed to stabilize the vehicle before firing, ensuring accuracy and safety during launch sequences. The system can be made combat-ready in as little as 5 minutes, giving it a significant tactical advantage in fast-moving battlefield environments. The missiles are guided using a combination of inertial navigation and either infrared homing for the 9M100 or active radar homing for the 9M96 series making them highly effective against both maneuvering aircraft and high-speed targets like cruise missiles. The S-350 Vityaz system, of which the 50P6 telephone is a central part, typically operates as a battery composed of several TELs working alongside a 50N6A multifunction radar and a 50K6A command post. Together, these components provide a fully integrated air defense capability capable of tracking and engaging dozens of targets simultaneously. The system is designed to replace older Soviet-era systems such as the S-300PS, offering better efficiency, faster response times, and improved resistance to electronic countermeasures. Operational since 2020, the S-350 has become an increasingly important part of Russia's layered air defense strategy, sitting between the short-range Pantsir S-1 systems and the long-range S-400 platforms. Despite its advanced capabilities, the 50P6 telephone has seen mixed results on the battlefield. In February 2024, one unit was lost when it accidentally entered a Russian minefield in Luhansk Oblast and sustained damage beyond recovery. In February 2025, Ukrainian forces destroyed another S-350 telephone in Donetsk, marking the first confirmed loss of this system in active combat. Reports indicated that the launcher was hit while its missile tubes were in the upright position, making it easy to identify. These incidents have highlighted both the system's importance and its vulnerabilities in high-intensity conflicts like the ongoing Russia-Ukraine war. Overall, the 50P6 telephone represents a modern and capable element of Russia's air defense network, combining high mobility, heavy missile capacity, and advanced guidance systems to counter a wide spectrum of aerial threats. However, its combat performance has shown that even cutting-edge systems remain at risk when facing coordinated enemy attacks and modern precision-guided weapons. If you want, I can also prepare a detailed 2025 update comparing the S-350 and its 50P6 telephone to Patriot PAC-3, NASAMS, and HQ-22 to show where it currently stands in global air defense rankings. Would you like me to do that?